Wait, what's happening? Oh, that's pretty cool. Wait, so we've got the four old... What is this? Every festival starts with a hero car. And who gets to play around with it? Always some hot shot driver like you. 10 years since arrived in Colorado 2012, huh? Can you believe that? Time flies like an AMG one, am I right? Been to every festival since. Oh, yep. <laughs> yep. Can't get rid of me. I'm like a bad smell. A bad smell with impeccable music taste. I should say, welcome to Forza Horizon 5 and the brand new update. So there are a whole bunch of new things for us to explore today. We've got a new Horizon story. We've got a new car, a new radio station, and something else really, really cool. A Lamborghini's on fire. Nothing to see there. No need to worry. Ooh. Across the line. Hey, one sec. Hello? Darius? Do I know a Darius? Wait. Darius Flint? You're in Mexico? Yo, that's it! Forza Horizon 10th anniversary. Let's jump in. Hey, and we Welcome pick up an achievement. Horizon. Before we get into any of the new stuff, are you ready to be very, very, very excited? Yup. Yeah. yeah, yeah, Donut Media is coming to the game, but so is Rocket Bunny. I don't know what cars it's going to include, if it's only going to be old stuff or there's going to be some new stuff as well, but the fact that Rocket Bunny is coming back is so, so cool. I, I just need to fix something for the developers real quick. I just need to make it more accurate. One second, let me just... um. New cars are coming to Forza Horizon 5 next month as well. I guess before we even get into the update, what's in the Forza-thon shop for the week. Hennessy Velociraptor and the Shelby Cobra and a very cool Horizon Colorado tee. I'm 100% buying that. Thank you. On the topic of things before I get into things, just gonna um, quit the game. When you now start up the game, take a look at this starting screen. Um, 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 Hello? That is so goddamn cool. Like the Shelby and everything. They literally recreated the start screen from all of the older Forza games. Every single Thursday, it'll change. So this week is Forza Horizon 1. Next week will be Forza Horizon 2 and so on and so forth. That's not the only stuff that's new. There is also a brand new radio station. So if I scroll through now, Horizon Mixtape. Obviously for legal reasons, I need to keep talking over this or I'm gonna get copyrighted. So I'm just gonna say, I suggest you try out the new radio station for yourself. Anyways, I guess we should get into the new Horizon story. So where do I need to go? Horizon Origins, Horizon Colorado, Darius Flint is here. Who is this Darius guy? Champion of Horizon Colorado, 2012. He, uh, he does not play well with others. When I say does not play well, I mean, well, he basically cheats. You're gonna have to cut corners, cause Darius will. <laughs> I could just do this all day. It takes me back to Colorado like it was just yesterday. I remember the forecast for high energy, scattered rhythms, and plenty of thunder and engines. You know, back in the Colorado days, 250 drivers battled it out in the Horizon Heat to become the Horizon Champion. Wow, it's almost like the Forza story back for Horizon 1 was so much cooler. Man, Colorado was beautiful, but Mexico? Oh, Mexico just looks better somehow you know more more real i have never heard a more incorrect statement in my goddamn life <laughs> yeah well you know some people think i talk too much some everyone literally every single person thinks that this is a better route Let's look at this for a bit uh-oh um um jump off that was a thousand iq right up until the second it wasn't bw corrado nice doesn't matter who you are or what you are driving. Bring your ride and bring your friends and get down here. How cool is this opening? It is actually mind blowing with the diner, Darius Flint, and more importantly, the shitbox Corrado that everybody loves. That is so sick. You've got the same cars in there. This place looks exactly like Lakeside Diner. <laughs> Yeah, they have the best french fries. Cars, too. And there's Jensen back in the Camaro Super Sport. Just like back then. Oh, spooky. Don't slide too much. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. Three stars. I don't do wristbands anymore, but 
I will totally make you a friendship bracelet if you want one. I'll even make it gold for you, superstar. <laughs> that sounds awesome. Hey, I'm still waiting to hear what Horizon means to you. No way are we gonna be in the Lambo. Wait, did they put a yacht on the we beach? Are, we are setting up our Horizon Europe tribute and the boat has just come in. Ready for the road trip of your life? Head for the festival, or in this case, street scene outpost. When you reach the road, you can put your foot down. Where was the boat? I thought we'd get the cool boat animation, how like you saw the Lambo driving out of the boat. Horizon that would have been really cool. World opening up. Like we can do whatever we wanted. They also literally removed the racing barriers, right? Yep, kind of weird for a road trip. I love how they're literally talking about all of the features that changed for the game when the game actually came out. That is so cool. Chasing the sunrise over the ocean. Nice at night, tearing through a Tuscan forest in an Audi Quattro. Woo! Oh, it was like the ultimate bucket list. We kind of made a thing out of it. I heard about the bucket list. <laughs> hmm. Ash runs a garage with her Uncle Dak from Horizon Colorado. Ben stepped down near the end of the festival. I think he's selling hot dogs back at the UK festival. Bring back Dak, please. Please bring back Dak. Bro, what a sick opening straight into the festival. The road trip Love it. Life. Thanks, kid. The cars, the places, the people. Those are the memories you hold on to. Hey, don't forget to collect your song reward from the accolade screen. Yo, I did forget about that. I mean, I only got two stars, so I, I mean, I assume that's good enough. Let me actually see if we can redeem that new song, Horizon Origins, a new horn, the Horizon Mexico intro. Okay, that's a pretty good radio track, just saying. Once we complete all of the chapters, that's where that new Dodge Viper is. I'm so pumped to try it. All right, let's keep going. We're doing a tribute to Horizon Australia, which means you are the boss. Shouldn't be too hard, huh, Superstar? I totally forgot the opening of FH3 had you start in, like, kind of the jungle, actually, and race to the beach to pick your starter car. So, back in Forza Horizon 3, it was my first time working with the developers. And they flew me out to LA and I played through the opening about a thousand million times. I got a text from Warren. Good day, mate. Hope everything's hunky dory in Mexico. Might come and have a squiz one of these days. Till then, you can get me on the old dog and bone. Boo, Rue, Warren. <laughs> you get any of that? Uh, some of it, I think. Well played. You endanger your middle name. People love them. Wait. Wait. I swear. The trees just. The tree was falling over. My first time at E3 ever, I remember walking into the building and outside they had this. It was a legit, ah, Centenario. I literally stood next to the car for, I swear, a solid 15 or 20 minutes. <laughs> and we've arrived. Look at that. Warren's trophy truck. Hey, you can be Warren. Can you do the voice? Yeah, no. <laughs> I like Warren. Yes, this is also the wrong truck because I assume the developers lost the licensing to the cool uh, green one. I love how they even tried to like match the time. Of Go in a favor from Alex and the Mexico off-road crew. Hola, amigos. Oh, you should have seen the car meet at Horizon Australia. They covered this whole Outback airstrip and there were custom paint jobs, tricked out engines, vintage classics, even a drag strip. And after dark, there was this whole street racing underground. Okay, this is actually really, really cool. And you finally finish up at the beach, come through the stand, All right, so and we made it. Who has the better beaches? Australia or Mexico? Yeah. Ugh, don't make me choose. Oh, leaving Australia was hard. I'm not sure I want to do it again. Really? Two stop- Bro, I'm sorry. I wasn't good enough. Okay, superstar. One more Horizon Festival and four different seasons to celebrate. I was also working with Forza for Forza Horizon 4. And again, I went to E3 and they had one of these things there. I, uh, I want to apologize for that whole, I can't understand a word you British people are saying again. <laughs> this is all right. I can't understand you either. Ah! <laughs> oh, you got me. Horizon UK was the greatest. Gold autumn leaves, snowy winters, fields of spring flowers. Oh, those oh, summers. The community complaining on Reddit all the time. It was great. Rob Glenn from Drift Club. Ooh, remember Robert from Drift Club? No. 
you must know is, it's a boring car fact. <laughs> I didn't think they would do it. No way. I cannot believe he just said that. Wait, so are we about to jump in the uh, fiesta? To the lake? You know it. Look, 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 look. There's a snowman. Just let it go, Scott. Okay, they are a little cringe, not gonna lie. I was, uh, gonna ask about Fortune Island. You didn't happen to, uh, <coughs> you know, leave any of those million credit chests laying around, did you? <laughs> not that I know of. Sorry. Cool. <laughs> cool, cool, cool. Uh, that's fine. You know, uh, and our other little trip. Maybe you brought something back from... I don't have any Lego for you, Scott. Bro, he's like me. Man's literally got an addiction to building Lego. <laughs> Look at all the cool little props. Yes. Yes. And jump it onto the ice. That was so sick. Also, can I just say, I'm still kind of salty. We never got a festival on the ice. I have a supposedly impassable muddy spring road and an urgent need to see what you make of this. Meet me at the start line. Well played. Yes! 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 Okay, I'm happy now. I am happy. Oh, 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 yes. It's like the old days. It's literally like the old days. We need some bikes with flames or flares coming off the back. That was OP. Oh, yes. Oh, my God. It looks exactly the same. Oh, that's so cool. I guess we're going to jump in the Senna again. Okay, this story is actually so cool. Boom! Glorious summer for the finale. Don't mess with Scotty. He controls the weather. Straight to the festival, kid. A festival that never ends. And you can be whatever you want to be. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, it's just oh, it still gets you the festival playlist. I still check that thing like daily. Showcase remixes, the Eliminator Battle Royale, the Horizon Super 7, challenge cards with custom roots and props, beauty spots, flares, all this stuff we know and love. I know you don't need me to tell you, you were there, but it's just so so I know me. I hear you. I'm definitely not getting three stars. Wait, I can. Wait, I can get three stars. Cut, cut, cut. No, I'm not getting three stars. Definitely not getting three stars. Cut, cut, cut. Get to the finish. Look at the opening. That drive right there is why we brought you all the way to Mexico. Time to answer the question. What does Horizon mean to you? <sighs> okay. I, um, I felt long and hard about this. Look. I know I'm kind of annoying, and um, I'm not cool, and I'm easily distracted, <laughs> and my jokes are not always the best, but well, Horizon gives me a home. They let me hang out with folks like you and do the best job in the world every day, and that means a lot to me. It wouldn't be Horizon without you, Scotty. Thanks for taking a high-speed drive down memory lane with me, kid. Hey, and three stars. That was weirdly wholesome. DJ says best story in FH5, Ooh, like in my opinion. Song? I'm going to go out on a limb and say that was the best story in Forza history. So here we go. Dodge Viper. There we go. So bone stock. It is the top of S1 class. So very quickly, I just want to take a tour around this thing in Forza Vista. I love the paint color. I feel like the paint color is even more accurate than like the regular yellow. I think it's basically just got weight reduction, maybe some suspension mods and very, very grippy tires. And it's very grippy in the corners. Hey, I'm not the only one doing it. The Dodge Viper's cool and all, but what's cooler is the customization this thing has. So engine swaps, let's start it off with that. I feel like we're gonna need to turn this thing into an S2 class car. I feel like that's just gonna be the place for it. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna toss the V12 in. I know it might be kind of against the rules, but I'm gonna do it anyways. I think I'm also gonna need to go all wheel drive. And I guess we're just gonna max this thing out. Twin turbos. Without a doubt, the coolest part of this car is the arrow where you can swap on a beautiful front bumper. That is what Forza Aero should look like. It is also fully adjustable. And then we get to the rear wing, which is also Forza Aero. That is what Forza Aero should look like. That is a rear wing. That is awesome. We've got a rear bumper on this thing to add a ridiculous rear diffuser. And finally, some side skirts. Very subtle, little carbon fiber stuff, but just looks awesome. 
awesome. I don't know if Forts is trying to tell us that in the future, this is what Forza Aero is gonna look like. But if it is, I'm here for it. Wait, so it's got Forza Edition tires. Then we could toss on Horizon Semi-Slick tires, which actually have the exact same grip. Same thing for the Hot Wheels tires, okay. Slick tires looking pretty good. Drift tires, rally tires. I think I got to keep the stock tires on this. They just look awesome. 355 in the front. What about the rear? The rear is 385. <laughs> Anyways, since we've also got some new ADV one rims, I think we need to run them. Upgrade those Viper brakes. This thing's going to be insanely fast. We're already on race tires. We can toss on drift suspension. We're gonna need to send this thing around some corners, okay? We can also get a roll cage in there. That's actually not bad. And then we're just gonna crank up the horsepower on this thing. After all of our upgrades, 1,300 horsepower, 2,800 pounds because we've got all wheel drive. Whoa, it just, it launches instantly. There's not even a little bit of slip in this thing. I'm like, I'm braking way too much. I fully don't trust this car yet. That is just, that's crazy. Keep in mind, this isn't even on full slicks. You could toss on full slicks and you would have even more grip than this. The only reason I didn't go full slicks is because I wanted to keep the cool like line in the tires. I'm going to go back to the festival. I'm going to toss on the full slicks and we need to try a race. Full slicks is a 9.7 out of 10. All right, we're going unbeatable difficulty. I'm probably about to get clapped. My wing is way bigger than everybody else's. If this was a competition for who had the biggest rear wing, I would clearly win. But unfortunately it's not, so I'm going to need to race them. What the hell is going on with that guy's car? Um... The DeLorean's a little low. I have no idea what's going on right there. But that's a little weird. I need all of the AI to move. This isn't a... Apparently, it's not just the DeLorean. That is just one of the other new features in Forza Horizon 5 this month. Wait, that guy's doing it... Why is everyone dipping into the ground? Wait, look. I think the AI's cheating. That's not the way the AI's supposed to take corners. Okay, so once again, Forza AI is doing Forza AI things. And I think this Dodge Viper is so fast. I think I've genuinely broken all of the AI cars. Gain, gain. If I could at least get the podium, that'd be nice. But the AI is going to cheat and I'm not going to be able to close in. We might have taken an L on the race, but I think the AI is legitimately unbeatable. One of the other new things in this monthly update is a new Horizon Festival uh, somewhere over here. Oh my God. Oh my God. That's so cool. I'm sorry, Dak, that I just had to do that. Hello, it literally looks like the Horizon 1 outpost. So if you drive on in, you can take some photos with the really cool thing up here. Oh, it would have been really cool if it actually, like, spun the car. I mean, back in Forza Horizon 1, you could actually, like, do upgrades at the Horizon Outposts. I don't think you can actually do that here. Like, there's no way for me to go inside, per se. Again, for those of you who don't know, every single week, there is a new Horizon Festival that will open up. Next week is gonna be Horizon 2, and you can go and take photos there. Very cool. Anyways, I guess I should go back to the festival, and I want to turn this thing into a drifty boy. If I'm gonna turn this thing into a drift car, a couple of things we need to do. Engine. We're going back to stock. I'm gonna keep all of the really cool aero on there because I think it just looks really good. Then I'm gonna go for drift tires. I'm gonna make my tires a lot skinnier. I do not need the world's widest tires. The only other thing I'm gonna do is just drift suspension and upgrade the horsepower a tiny little bit. Like, I've already got 850. That's probably all I need, to be honest. Hey, developers, if you could add some PR stunts for drifting, that would be great. I don't think this thing's gonna do very well on the volcano. I don't think it's worth it taking it over there. Why don't I just hit up my favorite drift zone? Right off the bat, I can already tell you this thing is still incredibly grippy, even with drift tires on. It doesn't want to slide. <laughs> That's crazy. Like, I know the rear wing's obviously providing downforce, but I tuned it in such a way where it would provide as little downforce as possible. We're going to be able to get 200k. Just not a bad car. I'm going to go and fix this thing, though. As much as I don't want to, the rear wing is going to have to go, and the front arrow is going to have to go. I wonder if I could keep the rear diffuser on. Oh my god, look at the handling. 
No, the rear diffuser has got to go too. That actually provides so much downforce. That's crazy. Now we can actually slide it around. We toss the rear diffuser on and the whole back of the car genuinely felt like it was getting sucked to the tarmac. That's what was creating all of that downforce. The difference is night and day. We are going to get way more than 203,000 points. Like, way more. It's a thousand times easier to drift now. 215,000 points. I've never seen a car like this in Forza Horizon before. I know a lot of people, and me included, were like, I'm really disappointed there's no new cars in the game. The fact that this thing kind of introduces almost like ground effects is just insane. I really hope that this car is the beginning of what's coming for the future for Forza Horizon. Like, if more cars have Forza Aero like this, introduce Aero properties like this, that would be so sick. And window stickers, please.